welcome back. And now, uh, talking about Imran Khan raking Kashmir issue again. Uh, remember that uh, encounter that took place in Kulgam district yesterday. Uh, there was a shell, unexploded shell, that just went off, and uh, as a result, seven lives were lost. And now you have PDP hailing again Pakistan's intervention in Kashmir matters. You have the PDP saying that Imran Khan can talk on Kashmir. They have backed Pakistan again. Remember, this is the line now, which is PDP, in fact, has always taken earlier. The former Chief Minister Mehbooba Mufti always batting for talks with Pakistan. Rafi Ahmed Mir talking to my colleague Zenith. Let's listen. You see, the fact remains so that the situation which has arisen yesterday and there it, uh, it happened, it has been condemned by one and all. It is not a question of the Prime Minister or anybody, I think every sane person, every sensible person will condemn such acts the way it has been done. As the state administration has been talking about SOPs and advisories, but on ground such things are not working. So they are going at fuel to the fire every day by such occasions, which in my um, thinking could have been avoided. But in any way, the um, tweet of the Prime Minister of Pakistan is a welcome step. And uh, his initiation earlier or by this tweet means there is some scope left where the two uh, countries can come together and talk. I think our country should also extend a hand and both should start talking. Because but how do you see the rallies being organized by Saeed Salahuddin uh, challenging India, warning India and then also paying tributes to the dead militants? You see, so long as uh, militant and militant organizations are concerned, they have their own thinking. But um, political people, political leaders and those who are at the helm of affairs have a thinking how to resolve the issue without uh, any further bloodshed or without gun. So his uh, stand has not changed. He has been there for 30 years doing the same. It's not a surprising thing. I am talking that what should we do and what should Prime Minister stand for. 